February has been all about sort of rethinking the outlook for the economy and the Fed. Have you changed your views at all, given some of the strong data we've had? No, not really. I think the, uh, the um, issue, Sarah, has been that the Fed does not see the equity markets as anything other than a tool for the transmission of policy. Um, the equity market participants think that uh, the massive declines in the equity markets in uh, the last year uh, are somehow supposed to influence Fed policy, which they really won't unless there's a significant wealth factor associated problem in the financial industry. Because the main issue is getting interest rates down, uh, getting, I'm sorry, inflation down to a point, to a rough, roughly a 2% number. Uh, and until we see that number, I think Fed is going to continue keeping interest rates high. Maybe for another part of this conversation, I think right now the issue is duration rather than height of the interest rates. But we can come back to that. No, so no, I'm curious what you think. Just got, the equity market just got ahead of the uh, mm. of Fed policy. So, look, I think the issue is that uh, we've roughly gotten inflation down from, a call it 8% to 5%, depending on what number you look at and what period you look at it in. But let's call it that. Getting down, then that was pretty straightforward because much of the what you much of the Fed tools could address that and much of the issues that were in the inflation were either transitory or cyclical, like um, energy prices. The next 3% from 5 to 2 is going to be hard. It's stubborn. Uh, in my view, it's more structural. It has to do with demographics, deglobalization, decarbonization, and uh, reversing debt monetization. That's going to be harder to address. Uh, it's going to take longer. The Fed does not have, except for the, the debt monetization part, does not have tools to directly address it because of the mostly supply side issues that Fed only has the demand side tools. So I don't think that, I'm, I don't forecast. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think that we have to uh, understand that the risk of recession is real uh, as a consequence of having some demand side tools going up to supply side problems. Uh, and that um, and, and what you're likely to see in that circumstance is some degree of, of uh, in, increase in employment. As long as employment may, remains stubborn, it's going to be very hard to get inflation down. I'd like to see a Goldilocks scenario. I don't think that's a safe assumption to make. Um, and uh, and as a consequence of which, that should flow through to corporate earnings. There's, we've been through the PE part of this um, equity market adjustment. We haven't been through the E part yet. Uh, and while I'd like yeah. to see us be, get through this um, uh, smoothly, uh, and I think that the Fed is trying very hard to do that. I'm a huge fan of Jay Powell's. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think that's a smart working assumption if you're allocating capital. So does it affect your decisions right now, Glenn, on, on allocating capital? I know you're focused with North Island mainly on crypto, which has been really hurt by what the right. Fed is doing. So let me take a step back on this. I said this, I think, last time you and I were together. I've said consistently over the course of uh, time that uh, people shouldn't have more than 1% to 3% of their assets in crypto, uh, which is a stance that I've adopted, and I've been public about that. So I'm not folk. I, I'm, people are interested in my um, investments in crypto, but it's not been my quote unquote major focus, if you know what I mean. Uh, though, though it's been what uh, uh, journalists have wanted to talk about. Um, but my stance right now continues to be quite cautious uh, in terms of allocating new capital. I think that's, I, I think we have, I, yeah, until we start seeing it, uh, inflation rates look more like 2%, I don't think you're going to see significant amounts of risk capital come into the market and create the conditions under which we get the next. Uh, bull market, but, which I think will, will happen, but I think it's uh, yeah, still okay. a ways away. 